All right, let's talk about your credit and your credit score. It dictates so many of life's major decisions, especially as we get ready for interest rates to spike. If it's less than stellar, there are ways to fix it. WCNC Charlotte's Carolyn Bruck has the steps you need to take so you're not left asking, where's the money? When I say the words credit, credit score, and credit report, are you feeling like this guy, like everything's A-OK? -okay? Or are you more of this dude, not feeling so great? Well, have no fear because we have enlisted financial consultant Lilius John of yourfinancialstylist.com to help with five steps to clean up your credit. We want to know everything that's on our report. And we want to know whether it's right, wrong, or other. Which is why that first step is to pull all credit reports. You're going to want to know your score and what's being reported. And you're going to pull them from Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion. Now, the second step, check for errors. And if you're a junior or you're named after a relative, listen up. We see this a lot of times with, like, fathers and sons. Well, this is not mine, it's my dad's, and it's on my report. So, yep, that first part of this is checking that all the debts listed are actually yours. Check for correct balances and payment history. And if you do see errors, you're going to want to file disputes with each reporting agency directly. The third step, call your creditors. All valid debts must be paid, so know that. And make sure that you don't fall for any scams out there. There are scams that they claim to be able to cancel your debt if you pay them a fee. That is a major red flag. The good news is the fourth step is negotiation. So always negotiate because it is possible. Creditors can and will work with you or you can utilize a free nonprofit advocate like the National Foundation for Credit Counseling. Again, that's free. You just get in touch with them and they're there to help. The fifth part, make payment arrangements. And yes, that last part, keep them. That is so important because if you don't, they can file a judgment against you if you don't pay within a certain amount of time and that sticks on your credit, similar to a bankruptcy. It goes in sort of the um, top header of your credit report and it can stay there for up to seven years. The good news is you don't have to go it alone. Take out your phone, open up your camera, scan this QR code. It will send you directly to uh, the Super Savers Club. It's a Facebook group that Lilius John has started. It's a very good resource. If you didn't get it there, you can also find the story on the WCNC Charlotte mobile app. It is free to download today, so make sure you get it, guys.